Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at circle theorem exam questions. We're going to be using the circle theorems we learned in the previous video to solve exam style problems. You need to know all of these circle theorems. If you don't already know these, you need to click on the link to my other circle theorems video first, which I've linked in the top right corner here. But if you're happy with them, let's continue and let's start with the first example. So example one, it says G, H, J and K are points on a circle. K, J is the diameter. Angle K, G, H is 124 degrees. Work out the size of angle H, K, J. Okay, so we're trying to find this angle here. It's the angle H, K, J, H, K, J. Uh, it's always, at, uh, when you've got it written like this, it's always the middle letter that tells you where it is. We also know that this angle is 124 degrees and that this is the diameter here from K to J. Okay, a lot of these questions will have lots of sentences in them. A lot of wordy uh, sentences that may confuse you at times. Try not to get confused by all these words and try to just focus on the picture because the picture pretty much tells you all the important information anyway. Okay, now we can start looking at this triangle here. And we can see that this is in a semicircle because a diameter cuts this circle in half, therefore it's a semicircle, with a triangle inside of it. And that means that this must be a right angle from our circle theorem saying an angle in a semicircle is a right angle. We also know that this shape here is a cyclic quadrilateral. So these two uh, angles here, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, will add up to be 180 degrees. So we rearrange that equation and we get that A is 56 degrees. We now know two sides of a triangle, uh, two angles of a triangle, 90 degrees and 56 degrees. We can work out uh, the third just by making it equal to 180. They all must add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, x is 180 minus 146, which is 34 degrees, and that is the final answer. Okay? So for that question, all I did was read the question carefully and work through the question step by step using one or two circle theorems to help me on the way to figure out other angles before eventually arriving at the final answer to this angle. Try to fill in other angles first that are more obvious and hopefully that will guide you towards finding the angle you want to find. Let's try one more example here. A, B and C are points on the circumference of a circle with the centre O. D, A, E is a tangent to the circle. Work out the size of angle C, A, D. So CAD is this angle here between C and D at A. And we also know that because this is a tangent, it will be right angles to the radius. So this will be a right angle here. Because there's 206 degrees in the centre here, the other angle to make it a full 360 degree revolution will be 100. So we can fill in this angle here as 100. You should see that this makes an arrowhead as well. And arrowheads um, have a special theorem, the arrowhead theorem, which says that these two angles, uh, the outer angle will be half the one at the centre. Okay. Now, we've got three angles of a quadrilateral, and we can use that to work out the fourth angle. These four angles will add up to be 360. So B plus 260 plus 30 plus 50 is 360. We rearrange it and we simplify it, we get that B is 20 degrees. So we know this angle is 20 degrees and we know that these uh, two angles here will be 90 because they are uh, between the radius and the tangent. 90 minus 20 will give us that angle, it is of course 70 degrees like that. So there we use two circle theorems, the arrowhead theorem and also we use the fact that a tangent and a radius make 90 degrees when they're touching. Okay, 
that's a rough idea of how I work out circle theory uh, exam questions. I have another one for you to try here. It says Q, R, S, and T are points in a circle. A, T, B is a tangent to the circle. Angle S, T, R is 26. That's labelled here as 26. And angle R, Q, T is 73. Work out the size of angle S, T, A. Okay, so I'd like you to pause the video now. I'd like you to try this question yourself. It should take you between 5 and 10 minutes. Okay. You are trying to find the angle STA over here. I'll reveal the answer in 3, 2, 1. The, an the answer is 47 degrees. Uh, and we're using uh, the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. And we're also using the alternate segment theorem because this angle and this angle will be the same. Okay, thank you for watching today's video with Advanced Maths. Uh, we have plenty more videos coming every week, so remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching, and good luck in your exams.